Hello there everybody, the name's Prototype and welcome back to The Walking Dead. Now, Molly's just abandoned us, she's just left us to, oh no, we don't want to go that way. We've already been that way. Let's have a look at this. Must be the guy who ran this place. Looks like he figured himself as some kind of supreme leader. What earth is that? Oh, probably zombies in there. Okay. Never mind. Little help! Ooh. Little help here! Ooh. Go, 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 go. Fuck, the doors won't close all the way! Please do something! We got it! Break the door with something! Ooh. Sorry for the button bashing, guys. Damn well better. There's so many. You got the fuel. Let's not start high fiving each other just yet. Let's get the hell back to the classroom. Give us a hand with these fuel cans. And we yeah, got can do. We've got to tell them that Molly's abandoned us. She's just gone up and left. You're back! Yeah, and we made out pretty good, too. Great work, Kenny. How you doing with that door? Not so good. Here, let me give you a hand. Did you get that battery yet? Yeah, Molly has it. She should be back here soon. She would better be. Yeah, she better be, otherwise, uh... Let's talk to Bree. Bree? Hey, Lee. Thanks for all your help back there. I don't think we would have made it without you. And you tried to have shoot us. We're all on the same team. So you're a cancer survivor, like Vernon and the others. Yeah, I was diagnosed when I was in college. Been getting treatment ever since. Mm. Just when I was starting to get better, when I thought there Aww. might be some hope, all this happened. Yeah. I lost my whole family. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm the only one who survived. Funny how things work out, huh? Damn. How long have you known Vernon? A couple of years. He ran our support group. He was really great helping me come to terms with my disease. But how do you come to terms with something like this? With a place like Crawford? I don't know what I or, or the other survivors would have done without Vernon. He's the one who held us together. Seems like a really good guy. Alive. What do you think about this whole Crawford situation? I'd rather not talk about it. Too many awful memories. Mm. Even being back here gives me a bad feeling. Even now, with everyone dead? I got no sympathy for what happened to these people. They <laughs> weeded out the sick and the old. Yeah. Even children. Those least able to defend themselves so that they could save their own skins. Mm. Whatever happened here, however Crawford fell, I consider it poetic justice. Damn, girl, yeah. that's cold. That is cold. How I feel. If you'd seen what I seen, you'd feel the same. Would we? Would we, though? I'm a little busy here, Lee. Maybe you should go get that battery or help with the medicine. Uh, so, uh, talk with Clem. You okay, Clem? Yeah. Where's Molly? She had to go run an errand. She'll be back soon. I hope she's okay. I hope she's okay She'll as well. Fine. She's pretty tough. Just sit tight, okay? I need to go take care of a few things. All right. I need to go talk to Ben and can talk to Kenny. Okay, we can talk to Kenny. We'll talk to Ben instead. What do we still need? We already got the fuel and the battery. Once we find some medicine, we'll be good to go. So where's this battery you found? Molly has it. She ran off to do something. Well, she'd better bring it back here. I don't know why you trusted that girl with it. We hardly know her. She saved your life, didn't she? <laughs> yeah, but what has she done for me lately? Yeah, true. We talk to you, Kenny. No, we cannot. Might come back for these later. Yeah, read really the material. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We heard it. On that boat. So, we need to go and help get the medicine. Wherever the medicine is. It's in the, uh... Where are we? So, according to Bree... Fuel is at the maintenance shed. 
Medicine might be at the nurse's office, and a battery would probably be at the auto shop out through here. Uh, so where are we? Are we there? Oh, no, we're there. Okay, so we need to go out all the way down nurse's station. If we're gonna find medicine anywhere, that would be the place to look. Okay, so we need to go down to the end, to the left. Yep, cool. Ah, no. Go back. Alright, let's go find some medicine. Hopefully the door will hold. Zombies. Kristen Vernon must be trapped in there. There's another one. There we go. Haha, <laughs> good shot. They wandered into the hallway after we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. The whole place is infested. They're everywhere. Calm down. I took care of them. What about the mids? Did we find what we need? Yeah, that's our other problem. Take a look. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe, locked up tight. Uh. Maybe we should try looking somewhere else for medicine. In Crawford? This place is too overrun. No, that safe is our best chance. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, it'd be a hell of a lot quicker if we just knew the four-digit combination. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. Hopefully they have written down the uh, code. I'll have to take time to rest later. What's this on the floor? It's a sonogram. Sonogram, eh? Y'all already checked these drawers? Yes, Lee. Nothing in there worth taking. Just making sure. No tape inside. What do you mean no tape inside? It looks like a digital. Looks digital. No tape inside. Ugh. Let's have a look at the medical file. Oh, it's a tape. Correa. Guess she must have been a patient here. And what's this? Right. Now, now that we've got the tape, let's have a look at this. Vernon, Krista, come look at this. What is this? Is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547. Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Mm -hmm. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Right. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm going to give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure. I want my baby. I can't do this. I can't do this. Anna. You don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this. But I need you to come back no later than tomorrow. Or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. Oh, he was so close to putting in the key. The code. 
Damn it, we almost had it. What the hell kind of place was this? Like Molly said, the worst kind. Lee, maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Maybe you should search him, see what he's got on him. But... If we go back... Phones probably haven't worked in months. So to How's it coming? Slow. Too slow. I'm worried that by the time we manage to get this thing open, it may be too late. Yeah. Molly helped me get the battery we needed. That's great. One down. Where is she? She took off. Had some kind of errand she needed to run. Took off? With the battery? Yeah. Don't worry. She'll be back. I hope so. That girl doesn't really strike me as a team player. More the mercenary kind. Eh. Uh, How much time do you think Omid has, Doc? You want my medical opinion? The sooner we get him some strong antibiotics to start fighting that infection, the better. Let's just leave it at that, huh? Hey, Doc. Uh, I just wanted to thank you for coming with us. And for all your help. I really appreciate it. Don't mention it. It's times like these we've got to help each other the most, right? And we're no better than those Crawford sons of bitches. I heard that. I'll go see if I can find something that'll help us get that safe open. Good idea. So, what he's saying is we need to go back out and see that guy. But what I think has happened, that he, that Molly killed that nurse, or that doctor, um... Because she was pregnant. That's what I think. She was pregnant and she... Why is it like this? Ah, let's go this way. Don't like that sound. guy has on him. If there's any zombies that way. He's no longer there. Of course he isn't. Oh, jeez. No, 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 sorry for the bashing. to find this ah oh, there he is curb stomp him okay got the tape this might be just what we need. And what's this? Looks like some kind of code. But Vernon said the safe combination was only four numbers. <laughs> Shit. Time to go. Time to go indeed. Oh, we don't have to do that. Fantastic. Ooh. I need to go this way. They sound like they're getting further in. I, I think Molly is going I to found be... found another tape. This one's dated October 10th. That's the day after the first one we watched. Put it in. I think it's going to be Molly. Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. 
Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive? To keep on living? If this is what it takes. If this is what it's turned us into. I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you. Please help me. Maybe one day, when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. Ooh! No. 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 He was the first one to die. He was the first one to die. So it started everything. I think we know what happened to Crawford. More importantly, we got the combination. <laughs> Krista, are you all right? What's wrong? It's nothing. That was just hard to watch. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. All right. Let's get those meds and get the hell out of here. And the... There we go. We're in business. Antibiotics, morphine. We'll take as much of this as we can carry. Okay, I think we're good. This is more than enough for your people and mine. Let's go. You go on ahead. I want to make sure we didn't miss anything. I'll be right behind you. <laughs> really? Don't take too long. Uh. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547. Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations I don't know what I'm looking and consultations. For. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. So I need God. to look at the sonogram. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I could see old evidence of a pregnancy... I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm gonna give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure! I want my baby! I can't do this! I can't do this! Anna. You don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this. But I need you to come back no later than tomorrow. Or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. Okay. So, you need to have a look at the sonogram. Vernon uh, and Krista already took everything we need. Can we take the camcorder? No tape inside. Uh. What is this? A copy machine. Not that it matters with no power around here. Okay. Just a bunch of papers. No safe combination, though. Don't need the combination. Not anymore. Don't know what I was looking for in there. Don't know why it's in this view, though. Jesus Christ! Oh, you scared the shit out of me. Where the fuck have you been? Sightseeing. I'll take that battery now. Oh, yeah. Uh, about that. You haven't lost the battery. I'm just kidding. Oh, thank Christ. Ooh. Here you go. Thank you. Put it in the magical pocket. What's that? Nothing. Sure there's nothing you want to tell me? Yeah. 
I'm sure. Are we done? What the hell? I think that's our cue to get the hell out of here. What happened to the axe? I just got spooked by those bells, and then I heard someone coming. Kenny and I still can't get the door open to the armory. He sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. Uh, Ben? Where did you get that? I just found it. It was stuck in the door handle. Oh, the door no! Oh, no. Oh, shit! Oh, Ben. Oh, Molly is an animal. Oh no! Lee, shoot this fucker! Thanks. It wasn't me. Good going, kid. Nice shot. Yeah, nice. What the fuck is going on? They're coming. Oh shit! That ought to hold them. Sir, but now how do we get out? Through the armory. We can just get this damn door open. Come on, damn you! Oh, Ben. This is my fault, all my fault. What the hell's he babbling about? Ben, we talked about this. No, wait. I want to know what he meant. What do you mean, this is all your fault? Kenny, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. Kid, this ain't the best time. Whatever you did, save it for later. Ben. We don't have time for this now. I'm sorry, Lee. I can't do this anymore. He's got a right to know. Know what? It's been me all along, putting all of us in danger. Katja and Duck, it was all me. It was all me. Wait a minute. What are you saying? It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the Motor Inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. And that's when Duck... Kenny, enough! Calm down, man! You little pisshead! You're fucking dead, you hear me? Dead! My wife and child! You gotta both fucking kill! Kenny, I said calm the fuck down! Nice group you got here. Not the time, Molly. If this asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did, he's out of his motherfucking mind! You hear me, shitbird? You can stay behind and fucking rot! Kenny, I know you're upset. I understand. But you don't get to make a decision like that on your own. We're all in this together. We're a group. Sure, take a vote. This is America. Fuck it. But before you all decide, there's something you ought to know. The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's got to get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here! Well, I vote we leave him. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well, but all I want to do is get back to Omi, and you put that at risk. Wait, don't I get a vote? Of course you do. Ben's nice. He's my friend. We don't leave friends behind. That's my vote. On second thought, I think I'm gonna abstain. Oh, I don't know. I'm sorry, Ben. I've got to do what's best for the group. And that means cutting you loose. What about the rest of us? Don't we get a say? Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh! Now can we go? Damn right. Vernon, come on! Come on, Vernon. Oh, Bree. So much for the armory. What's left of it? A few rounds. That's it. You didn't close that door behind us? I could. The lock was busted. Just fucking great. Come on, there's got to be a way out down here. Come on. Nope, nothing. Oh, hello. 
Not gonna hold. Back upstairs. Wait, look. Yeah. Okay, time for us to shoot. down from there. You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? Yeah. Why? Never mind. I can see the sewer where we came in from here. I think we can do this. Well, what are we oh, waiting the for? Go, go! Stay back. Don't get any closer. I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. Krista, get away from him. Mm -hmm. uh. Hey. Back already? Oh, oh my gosh, I'm medicine. Good. Feel like I could use some. Where's Ben? He... didn't make it. What happened? Dumb son of a bitch nearly got us all killed. Lee stepped up and did what he had to. That's what happened.
I'm sorry, Clem. She'll be okay. I know it's tough on her now, but she'll understand. I did what I had to. She will understand, right? She's gonna have to if she's gonna make it in this world the way it is now. No easy decisions anymore. No. I'm gonna go start work on the boat. Okay, with a little luck, you should start feeling better pretty soon. I'll stay here for a few more hours to check on him. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Doc. Yes, thank you so much. Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk in private. Listen, Anne, about what happened to Bree. Don't beat yourself up over it. There was nothing you could have done. You want to know the worst part? What? what? I don't feel much. I mean, I don't feel enough. Shouldn't I be broken up over what happened to her? That's how I was when I lost my daughter. When I lost my friends in those first few weeks. But now, it's like I just take something like this in stride. Like this is what our world is now, and we'd better just get used to it. I'm sorry. It... What did you want to talk to me about? I know you care about Clementine. Anyone can see that. And I know you want what's best for her. But this plan of yours, putting everyone on a boat with no destination, do you really think that's her best chance of finding somewhere where she can be safe? Because I don't. So I want to make you an offer. What kind of an offer? I'll take her off your hands. What? Take her back with me, to my people. We're well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you, I promise you. Need That's to what think you about want this. For, isn't it? To be safe? You're coming at me with a lot here, Vernon. I need to think it over. Of course, take your time. But I want you to think about some things. No? Oh? You chose to let that boy die back in Crawford. I gotta wonder about the morality of the kind of man who would do something like that. I got to wonder what kind of parent you'd be. Looking after Clem. Looking after the group. My gosh, give me a break, man. I'm doing everything I can. I feel this episode isn't over yet. Hey, going somewhere? Yeah, I'm about to head out. I, I just wanted to say thanks for everything. It's been fun. You're just leaving? So that's it? After all we've been through, you, you're just gonna leave? Yeah, I figured you don't owe me anything. I got what I wanted in Crawford. And I never did like the water. Where will you go? I don't know. I'll figure it out when I get there. What do you want me to tell the others? Tell them whatever you want. I'm not real big on goodbyes. Tell Clementine she's going to be okay. You've got a good one there. She reminds me of me. I'm not sure if that's a compliment or an insult from, from what we've seen of Molly. You're bringing me to tears. Hey, sweet pea. Henny's working on the boat. I know. What are we going to do after he fixes it? Where will we go? Someplace else. Someplace better. Clem, honey, what's wrong? What happened to Ben? What did Kenny mean when he said you did what you had to? Clem. You have to believe me. I tried to save him, but Ben didn't want me to. What do you mean? What Ben did was very brave. He knew we were running out of time, and that saving him might put everyone else in danger. So he told me to leave him behind so the rest of us could get away. I know that's difficult to understand. I understand. You do? Yeah. He thought about other people before he thought about himself. My mom always told me that's what makes a good person. Yeah, it's true. She was right. 
Before we leave tomorrow, will we have time to look for my parents? I'd like to, Claire, but I don't think we'll have time. We really shouldn't stay here any longer. It's not safe. Sorry, Clem. I'd still put a hand on her shoulder. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there's a zombie horde coming after us from the... The main street from the railroad. <sighs> Clementine. Clementine. Have they left us. Please don't say they've left us. Where's everybody? Clementine? Clementine! Oh, God. Oh. This episode's gone on far too long. Anyway, now I'm gonna leave it here. Now, guys, um... Yeah, because this episode getting way too long. I want to wrap it up. This will probably be another parter, so we'll be able to finish this up um, next time because this episode just gone far too long for for everybody. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching, guys. It was uh, we're starting to really get into the meat and bones of this episode, um, or tail end of it now. Hopefully, we haven't been left behind. Anyway, I'll see you in the next episode, guys. Take care.